everyone welcome back i know we're doing back to back tags today and this one is getting back on track tag so thank you denise from dish with d i love it love you thank you thank you now this one here i'm really excited about i think this is a great tag good work denise number one why are you still on plan i'm still on plan because i'm a hard out wwer i love it uh, I'm actually a WW ambassador, which I thoroughly enjoy. I love that so much. Um, the program's amazing. Why would you give up something that's so fantastic? I'm going to be a diehard WW forever. I just know it. Um, I think this plan is fantastic, and I think you can really lose a heap of weight if you stick to it. Number two, is this quarantine affecting your journey? Um... Well, I've been working from home now for uh, eight weeks next week. And yes, I have definitely put on a bit of weight because I'm just snacking. My kitchen is there and I just pop over and pop back to my desk. And you know, when I'm at work, I don't do that. So, but otherwise, no, I'm not having any issues with this whole quarantine thing. It's not stressing me out or anything like that. Um, it's just really working from home and having the ease of my kitchen 10 steps from my desk which is not doing me much good but anyway I'm back to work in the next week so back to normal and I know that it'll be much easier to stick to my plan number three do you stress eat if so how to control it well two parts to this question yes I do stress eat um you know, I thought I had all that stress eating behind me because I haven't stress eaten in almost two years. I thought I had kicked that to the curb, but we had something pretty traumatic happen in our family on the 10th of April and very, very traumatic. And it kind of just put me into a spin. I went into a bit of a depression and you know what? I just found myself eating. Even when I wasn't hungry, I would just stuff my face and wasn't even hungry I was to the point of being stressed where I actually felt sick with the stress but I still found myself eating anyway and you know when I actually realized it it took me a while to realize what I was doing I was so disappointed in myself so disappointed but now that I've realized I was doing it I have stopped I have 100% stopped and at the time I'll be honest I didn't care I really didn't care uh, the next part to that question, if so, how to control it? You know, that's difficult. And I think that is a tough, tough question because everybody is different. How did I control it? I was just more mindful about it. Uh, I realized what I was doing. And, you know, when I got into that kind of a state where I wanted to go to the cupboard and pick out some foods that I shouldn't, I just didn't. I grabbed... Um, some water or I had a coffee or a cup of tea or I would have something WW friendly like a WW snack rather than something I shouldn't be eating so that is how I um, kicked that stress eating to the curb uh, I was more binge eating on my account actually so yeah that definitely was real for me and um, it was a bit of a wake-up call to say that hey that's still in you even though I thought it wasn't, but it's still there. And it's quite scary, to be honest. Number four, what advice can you give someone who is off plan during this time? Okay, well, that's definitely me. I've definitely been off plan. And all I can say is you just have to jump back in there. Uh, this week, I've meal prepped. I've meal planned. And I've just got to stick to it. I've got to get serious. So... You know, you just need to think about, do you want this or you don't? I do. So I'm getting back on track. And I really encourage you to engage in either YouTube or your Zoom meetings or Instagram, anywhere you can get some WW support. I think that's going to go a long way in help getting you back on track and back into the program just to see how positive WW can actually be. Even have a look on your app if you can. There's a whole heap of great stuff on there. You know, not everybody's into meditation and exercise, but have a look on the app and there's some great stuff. And if you can, talk to somebody who's on the plan who might be in the same boat as you and, um, 
you know, you might be able to buddy up with somebody and help get back on plan together. I think um, safety in numbers is not a bad thing. Number five, how can your channel help someone who is off track? Um, well, all I can do is offer advice. I have a range of things on my channels. I've got cook with me's, I've got weight loss vlogs, I've got grocery hauls, which I'm going to do today. Um, you know, I just hope that I can inspire somebody to help get back on track. And I'm pretty real. I'm black and white. There's no real grey with me. I'm either in or I'm out. And you'll know it whether I'm in or I'm out. So I'm getting back on plan this week. Like I said last week, I made a start, which I was really happy about. But this week I'm kicking it up to another level of being back on plan. And um, you just have to do it at your own pace. And you'll do it when you're ready. And I hope that my cook with me's and my other vlogs can help inspire somebody who is in the same boat perhaps number six what does your channel offer those on a weight loss journey um okay so i have got my weekly weigh-ins which i haven't done but i'm getting back into so there's a whole heap of those if you wanted to check those out from the beginning i've got cook with me's i've done some really cool collabs these tags are really cool and um, I don't know, I just try to offer anyone advice along the way. I try to keep it pretty real. The majority of my channel is weight loss. I don't dive into too much. There's a couple of, you know, trips around Sydney just to break it up a little, a little bit here and there. But generally my channel is weight loss and I'm in the Weight Watchers or WW Ambassador program here in Australia and we do some fantastic stuff which I haven't posted too much on YouTube, but uh, I think I might change that and I might start sharing some things that we do there because they're really positive and um, quite inspirational. Number seven, what do you want to say to your subscribers who are not on track and not watching? <gasps> not watching? That's okay. Look, I've gone through spits and spats about watching people and not watching people, but that's pretty much about my mental health, not their content. Um, everybody I watch, I absolutely love. And... Um, I'm slowly getting back into it but I had removed myself quite a lot from social media in every aspect just because of things happening in my family and I'm trying to get back on there so I understand if people are not feeling it right now with the whole COVID situation you know if you're not feeling the best you might be a bit down about some weight loss that you uh, weight gain that you may have um, found during these times but all I can say is just come on back in. There's so many YouTubers out here that are willing to help you. There's some great content. I do hope you all come back and um, I'm here to support you just as much as you are supporting me. So I love all of my subscribers. Number eight. Uh, any advice you would offer to someone who has gone so far off plan they don't feel like they can come back? Ah, oh, there's never... A place that you could go that you can't come back from trust me look we've all gone there we've all had crappy ass times especially of late and please don't feel like you can't come back because you can nobody's judgmental we've like i said we've all done it and we all just need to feel like we can come back i don't judge anybody because i'm not perfect and anybody who feels like they can't come back is just i feel sad because everyone has the right to leave and come back whenever they want and I just hope that you know I can inspire somebody enough to want to get back on the WW program because it really does work and it's good for you and uh, I would love to give everybody a hug a virtual hug if you feel like you can't come back you so can look it's it's just a program it's just weight loss and it's very important don't get me wrong but there is nothing you can't come back from so please if you want to come back come back we're all of us youtubers are gonna open up our loving arms and we welcome you all back in because we seriously want everybody to feel like they're welcome and i don't want anybody to think that there's no hope there's always always hope okay so that's it guys two tags done and dusted thanks again denise 
I have got to go and do my groceries and I'm going to do a little grocery haul so keep tuned for that one and I will catch you all again real soon thanks again for watching love you all